Hello friends. In our previous video, we have discussed about how to implement a binary tree in our traversal without recursion. Instead of recursion, we have used a stack. Now, in this video, we will discuss about how to implement pre-order traversal without using recursion and how to implement it using a stack. We know that in pre-order traversal, the first we will visit parent node and then left and then right subtree. Now we will apply pre-order traversal on this binary tree. We will start with parent or root node. We will visit this root node first. So we will print the data and then we have to visit its left subtree which is 10 here. So then it moves to its left subtree further which is 5. Since 5 is a leaf node, does not have any children, it has to go back to parents right subtree, so which is 15. After visiting this node, it has to move to its children, but it's also a leaf node, so it go back to its parent and it's again go back to its parent and right subtree. Now we'll visit this node and then move to its left subtree visit 25 print it since it's a leaf node it goes to its parent right subtree which is 35 so this is pre-order traversal now we'll implement this using a stack so our algorithm is we will create a stack and push root node to the stack by default and then we'll use a while loop iterate through the while loop until stack is empty so the while loop iteration contains continues as long as stack is not empty so inside while loop first we'll pop out a node and print its value and then from popped out node first we'll take right child if it is not null push it to the stack similarly from popped out node we'll take the left child if it is not null, we'll push it to stack. And these three steps will continue until stack is not empty. Now let's take a stack and implement this. So now we have taken a stack. We'll implement same logic. As discussed, first we'll push the root node, which is 20, into the stack. Now we'll be inside while loop. As a first step, we'll pop out element which is 20. We'll print the data and then we will see does this has any right child or not. It has a right child which is 30. Push it to stack. And then does it has any left child? Yes, it has. Push it to stack. Now again the loop next iteration continues will pop out first element and print value does it have any children yes push the right node which is 15 push its left node which is 5 then in next iteration pop out the element and print the value and take its children it does not have it's a leaf node so again in the next iteration pop out next element which is 15 and push its children and this is also leaf node does not have any have any children so pop out next element which is 30 and see does it have any children yes it has the right node is 35 the left node is 25 we pushed both and pop out the next one which is 25 now it does not have any children pop out next value which is 35 at the end the stack is empty we do not have anything so that we have completed our pre-order traversal now if you look at the previous traversal data and the with this approach the data is exactly matching uh, we need to understand why are we pushing the right node first before left node the reason is 
we want to process left node first then right node and we know that stack is first in first out that is the reason first we are pushing right node and then we are pushing left node so that when we pop out left node will come out first now let's say write code let's write code and see the result create a new class pre-order traversal create a node in our class which is static it has few member variables data children references then a constructor to create node object this stem will be assigned to data variable we'll have a member variable called root in order to track tree root reference we are creating a member variable now let's create a method which is of type void do pre-order so now first we'll check whether root is null or not in case root is null we'll simply return now let's create a stack of type node import stack as discussed first we will push stack to root to stack root node is pushed to stack now we will initiate while loop and the exit condition is as long as stack is not empty we will iterate through it so now first pop out an element and capture it through a temporary node reference now print the data from the popped out element emp dot data since we are going to display the entire uh, tree data in a single line space will be a delimiter here now the second step is check if the popped out node right child is not null if it is not null push to stack if temp dot right not equal to null push it to stack temp dot right similarly check if popped out node left children left child is not null in such cases push it to stack if temp dot left is not equal to null push it to stack now we'll write a main method to test this code in order to save some time i copied main method code from my previous example and modified accordingly so this is an object reference created for pre-order traversal class created a tree structure this is exactly what we have seen in the initial discussion and also copied expected output which which we prepared during our example discussion now when we run this we expect the output should exactly match with this order now let's run the code and see the result now as expected it is matching with expected output 20 10 5 15 30 25 35 thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel